Namaste. Welcome to Move It. I only preach what I practice. In a previous video, we have displayed the movements using resistance bands for our lower body. And that's something that I do and swear by so that I can continue to squat and deadlift so that I can also continue to play my recreational tennis. Now today, in this video, we'll use the same band and we will talk about our upper body, predominantly the shoulders. If you like what we're doing at our channel, start liking, subscribing and sharing our videos. I use the same band to make sure that my shoulders and my thoracic area do not get into imbalances because of my forward leaning postures, because I work on the computer all day or even by playing tennis where most of the movement is in front of the body seldom the hands and hence the shoulders retract and go behind the body so the first move we just take this band in front and use some strength to stretch it take it above not sure if you can so take it to the point where you are comfortable if you can take it all the way back behind you and then bring it back forward till here let me repeat it for you take it up and you don't have to overarch the spine has to stay neutral if you have mobility take it all the way down if you can't, you can stop here or here or here, wherever your mobility allows you to. For the next one, I'll have to turn around. Keep a bit of a stretch in the band while your fists are slightly less than shoulder width apart. Your thumbs are pointing inward. Shoulders retracted, shoulder blades retracted. And then squeeze as you externally rotate your shoulders and relax. Breathe normally while you do this. Squeeze, externally rotate. Stay there for 10 seconds while you are breathing. Slowly release. What you obviously have to be careful about is that you don't overarch your back when you are doing this. Now this one, we are going to do shoulder protraction. So we take the band like this. This is going to be the movement. So start from here, from the sides. And this time, we are going to squeeze our pecs and serratus muscles to the front. There has to be a nice protraction of the spine. We don't have to flex. The rib cage stays neutral while we are getting into this protracted position of the thoracic area. Ah! Slowly release, come back. The next move is band pull apart and you may have seen this happening. Like this. What I like doing is that I like to make it a bit more intense. So we start from the front and how I cue myself to make it intense is, is I do this external rotation. So we start from here. We go back and as we reach, as the band reaches the chest, I crank it to externally rotate my shoulders, stay there for five seconds, come back and in front. Stretch, crank it over, release, come to the front. For this one you need a pillar like this where you can tie the band to, hold it in front with the stretch in the band and then take it from here, externally rotate and come back. You may have seen this 
in a lot of physiotherapist offices. But what people do is go like this and this is no good. You have to start from where it starts to make you feel uncomfortable and then go out as you externally rotate your rotator cuffs and come slowly back. You can also do internal rotation of the rotator cuffs using the same position but intensity has to be there and you have to release always slowly you don't want to release like this squeeze out the rotators slowly go back and the core remains tight all the time we'll do face pulls again using a pillar a tree here stand leaning back use the resistance to lean back and start pulling the band towards your face as you feel your scapula getting stretched and you release pull and release and you can make it as intense as you want by squeezing more pull and release slowly that's all that we have in today's video use the band to make your shoulders more mobile and strong it obviously will take care if you have any shoulder pains and yes if you are benching and you are looking towards bench press PRs it will help you to improve your bench press inculcate healthy habits and stay happy namaste